Hey guys, what's up? It's DarkNova07 here. Um, this is an update video from the Error 28 downgrade issue for the iPod Touch 2G MC. Um, that was when, you know, you tried to downgrade it and you got the Error 28 message so you couldn't jailbreak it because you couldn't downgrade it. But two days ago there was a jailbreak that came out. It was called Spirit. And it's a jailbreak for any iPhone, any iPod Touch, and the iPad as long as it's under 3.1.2 or 3.1.3 firmware. Remember, any iPhone, any iPod Touch, and the iPad. As long as it's under 3.1.2 and 3.1.3. So I'm going to show you the download link for this. So um, I'll put this in the uh, more info section. So here's the download. Uh, obviously, wait for it to process the download. Click here to start the download. X this out. Come over here. So you'll get this little... You want to right-click it if you have WinRAR or whatever you use. Extract files. And then you know choose whatever, and then after you extract it, you should get this. So with this now, by the way, this is for the Windows version of uh, Spirit Jailbreak. I'll post the uh, Mac download for Spirit, and also down in the more info section, so you guys for Mac and PC users. Um, now, before you run this, if you're running Windows, what you want to do is you want to right-click it, go to Properties, go to Compatibility Mode. And then over here, you want to check this little box that says run this program in compatibility mode. And then you want to click on this drop down menu and go to Windows 98 slash Windows Me. Apply it. And OK. What that did was it's going to make sure that you run Spirit without any errors because if you don't do that, since, since we are running Windows, you know, you might configure an error too, but that's the way to run it without any errors. And you, you know, you don't want to take that chance. So now what you want to do is you want to right click it, run as administrator always do that with any jailbreak um, thing just in case it doesn't work and if this screen doesn't come up right away it's going to tell you something about java runtime and it's going to tell you you need to download java runtime just cl just click yes it'll prompt you to the website to download it it's free it takes like it takes like two minutes to download and then it should put java runtime on your computer i didn't have it so that's why it prompted me with that then after you're done doing that it should come up with this screen right here it's going to say spirit Here's your jailbreak button, and down here it's going to say the iPod, iPhone, or iPad you have connected into your computer. If you don't have it connected, it will say this. Watch. Please connect device. So make sure before you hit jailbreak, you see your device down there and everything's right. Please make sure it's also 3.1.2 or 3.1.3. It should say so right there. Then all you want to do is you want to hit jailbreak. That's it. You're done. After you hit jailbreak, it's going to put your iPod into restore mode. And after it goes into restore mode, it'll take the whole jailbreak takes like three to five minutes for it to do. But just be patient and don't worry if something like if your screen starts, you know, going black and stuff like that. Just just wait for the full thing to be done. You'll know if your jailbreak's good when um it'll say over here after you click it, it'll say jailbreak successful or succeed or something like that. I, f I forgot what it said. But after you do it, you'll get this loading screen on your iPod after after the boot logo for the Apple. Um, it'll be like this colorful screen, and it's gonna have a little loading bar. You wait for that to load, and that's and that'll be the spirit jailbreak that's loading up. And then after it's done, you're jailbroken. You'll you know you'll be able to access your iPod. And don't worry, you will not lose all your apps, all your music. It'll stay on there. This this will just jailbreak your device. You're not you're not you know you're not downgrading it or anything like that. So after you have the thing on there, all you want to do is you want to find your Cydia app because it should be on there after you jailb after you did the spirit jailbreak and just install Cydia and that's that it's that simple it was that easy I, I mean like this also reminds me a lot of black rain because of the uh, one click jailbreak but that was that guys uh, Dark Nova 07 signing out peace